And you are welcome to a very special Tuesday edition here on Wake Up Nigeria. Yeah. But of course, you have waited so long for this special holiday edition. Mm -hmm. It's here now. It is. And of course, it's a special holiday Tuesday edition, the most anticipated day of the week because Nobody went to work yesterday. No. Oh, you mean today? Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> and then uh -huh. today they just realized, you know what? Ah, chill day. It's another holiday. Yes, <laughs> holidays. So we celebrate with our Muslim brothers and sisters as they celebrate Eid al mm -hmm. Uh Thanks so much for tuning in yes. and watching the show every single morning. And today's a special one because we have extra viewers today. Oh, yeah. A very, lot more people. Very, yeah. very special. Mm -hmm. Extra viewers. Everybody who didn't go to work today who decided exactly. they're going to stay home and choose us as the faces to wake you up this morning. We yeah are happy that you guys have chosen us. Oh, not just the two of us, but of course, then of course there is Mike. Of course. <laughs> How you doing, Mike? Mr. Messi Kennel's in the building. Yep, happy Del Malud. And mm -hmm. good morning to everyone out there. Um, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Well, you we're, doing? Fine. we're fine. I know. So what I know is that some people have found a way to take an excuse for Monday mm -hmm. so that the weekend will stretch from so they Friday, have a four day weekend. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, wow. and today. So Smart. yeah, if you took yeah, that excuse, like, if you give a sick, if you get, if you uh, if you ask for a sick leave, uh, <laughs> be very <laughs> careful. <laughs> but yeah, come on. We're here to make that holiday uh, much more yeah. beautiful for you. So let's take this opportunity to spend time with our families. You know, I appreciate mm -hmm. the little things. Yeah. Those little bits of extra time we can get to rest, uh, cook something nice. Mm. Uh, you know, just ha spend time with your loved ones. These moments can be rare. Absolutely. Now, do remember now you are with your friends here, your friendly neighborhood TV presenters. My name is Mazino Apio. And I'm Titelaya Oni. So remember, you can follow us on social media at TBC Connect. That's for Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can uh, watch us live. We stream live on our website. That's TBC Entertainment. TV and of course on Facebook at TVs Connect. Just in case you want to go any place, make sure you have the app on your phones and you've downloaded them from off of iOS or yeah. the Google Play Store. Yeah. And uh, hey, carry us with you every single place that you might be going. So we have quite a lineup for you today. As always, we have parenting mm -hmm. uh, on Tuesdays, and uh, it's a very interesting topic. Uh, parenting, especially on a holiday, I think parents out mm. there should just take a chill pill and listen to this one. We'll be discussing um, creating something interesting with your kids, uh, creating a routine. Routines are not usually things parents like to talk about, but if you have a structure, you probably will have a more structured child. Well, that's what they say. We're we'll having a special conversation later on. And on health, we'll be taking a look at the link between substance abuse and uh, mental illness. We have Dr. Maimuna Kadiri, often referred to as the celebrity shrink. She's an, a, a multiple award-winning mental health physician, advocate, and coach. And there's gonna be a really interesting conversation. Finally, Paul Eke Juiba, AKA Bragia, the first African to make parody Bollywood movies, or well, videos, uh, will be joining us. He's gonna be He's been trending in India mm. and, of course, Nigeria. We cannot wait to meet this guy. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I can't reconcile the beard and the hair. That's the problem. Oh, <laughs> but Craggy, I've heard so much about. Also yeah. seen him on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, creative. Mm -hmm. um, I got some questions for him yeah, when he comes sure, here. Sure. Oh, Meanwhile, yes. Meanwhile, uh, so let's just say one more time. Happy Eid al Malu to our uh, Muslim brothers and sisters. Uh, for you just tuning in, it's going to be a great show. Uh, but we also have someone else on the couch today, and she's basking in her glory. <laughs> the fire breather, the mother of dragons herself, Emin! <laughs> why, why, why are we healing Emin like this? What's uh -uh. What's, what's today, it? happy uh, birthday. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yes, we're gonna turn up today. That's definitely true. Look at it. Yeah. Super kid dead. Super kid dead. Super Well, 
That's right, calm yeah, down, yeah. so I would have joined you, brother. Yeah, no, it's okay, we too. understand. Mike is... Yo, 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 yo. Yes, yeah, so if, if, anyway. if I had stood up, I would have ended up suffocating Mike. Mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what suffocates us. You know yeah. what It's not but, that one. <laughs> but, M.M., you know, you're, 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 you're just an amazing human being. I know. Mm. M.M. is in a world of her own. She's on another level. She has a high horse that... Gives oh, us, she <laughs> you know that. The, horse, yes, the, the high, <laughs> no, the high horse that everybody wants to ride on. It's, 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 it's okay. shocking well, that even after well. so many years with you, all, the yeah. only person, the yeah. first person to recognize it what? was Mazina. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a close up. Yeah. <laughs> In any case, how does it feel to be 65? Oh, it feels oh, wow. amazing. She didn't get it. She didn't yes, get it. I feel I I got it. You know, yeah. <laughs> she got it. She got it. I feel blessed. But hey, we have to go on a quick break now. Oh, uh, yeah, already. I know, I know. I don't want to steal all the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> And you're welcome to Tuesday Holiday Edition here for Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Mazino Peel. Let's do the news. Now, concerns over the effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccine came to the headline again with the death of the first black U.S. Secretary of State, Colin Powell, who died of COVID-19 complications. The 84-year-old died yesterday despite being fully vaccinated. Flags have been lowered to a half-mast in honor of the former top military officer who became the first African-American Secretary of State in 2001 under Republican President George W. Bush. He also sparked controversy for helping garner support for the Iraq war. Tributes have also been pouring in for the man who President Joe Biden has described as a dear friend who embodied the highest ideal of both warrior and diplomat. The White House has described his passing as a heartbreaking tragedy. Well, uh, as people saw in the statement issued by the president, a very personal statement about his personal relationship, uh, this is obviously a heartbreaking tragedy, tragedy for the country and one the president is feeling personally. Uh, there are extremely rare uh, cases of deaths or hospital hospitalizations among fully vaccinated individuals. That has been the case even before uh, the, the death of Colin Powell, especially among people, older people over a certain age uh, and people who have underlying health issues or people who are battling other diseases. Uh, that has been the case. It is also the case, and this is important for people to know and understand out there who are concerned that an unvaccinated person has a more than 10 times greater risk of dying from COVID-19. Back here in Nigeria, in Sokoto State, bandits have killed about 30 persons in a Goronyo town. Now, Governor Aminu Wazeri Tamboa disclosed this uh, during a meeting with the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya. He pledged that his administration shall continue to support the army and other security operators. This recent attack is the third in two weeks where bandits have attacked a village market in Sokoto State. And in Kaduna State, a joint team of security operators have raided a suspect bandits camp in a Giwa local government area of the state and at least 10 suspect bandits were killed in the operation. One of the bandits' camp was raised by the troops while some bandits escaped with gunshot injuries, a statement issued by the Kaduna State Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs. Samuel Arouan says the troops encountered the bandits who were heavily armed uh, around uh, Kwanan Bataru in a Fatima community and engaged them in a fire exchange. And that will be it for the news. Welcome back. It's time for us to take a quick look at what's happening on the covers of the newspapers this morning. We're going to start with the Nation newspaper. Today is Tuesday, October 19th, 2021. The Nation has this major headline, Insecurity, Others, U.S. Joins Forces with Nigeria. We are pushing back insecurity, Buhari says, and uh, six more Super Tucano jets in. Kanu slammed with more treason charges. Southeast governors, Igbo leaders, ready for dialogue with federal government on separatist group leader. Right at the top here, it says police. Uh, no to hashtag NSAS protests in Lagos. Anxiety over clash of groups. And uh, on Malou Nabi, President Sultan governors can greet Muslims. Uh, Buhari eulogizes ex-US icon Powell and the top media chiefs for Guild of Editors Conference. And that's what we have on the cover of The Nation. We also have 
the punch with us this morning. And we have this headline, APC Convention Under Threat. Aggrieved party members cite ruling against Boni. And Boni's panel not recognized by law. Illegal or rather activities will be illegal, say AKT Group. Uh, we informed National Secretariat about our Congress, says Lagos for Lagos. Uh, Keamo's group heads for appeal court um, against Omar Gege's faction. And uh, beside the masthead there, it says, hashtag NSARS. Uh, insurance firms unveil report, pay 9 billion naira worth of claims on deaths and property. Meanwhile, NNPC pipeline security maintenance gulp 32.56 billion naira in six months, according to a report. And right at the top here, it says Nigeria producing $18 billion worth of cassava and uh, missing in global market. Uh, we also have this story. It says uh, less than 4% of Nigerians will be vaccinated by 2021, according to Oshimbajo. And uh, federal government budgets, 104 billion naira to maintain purchase generators in 2022. And that's what we have on the cover of The Punch. All right, then. Uh, yes, of Happy course. Eid. Happy so Eid. Happy Eid, yes. Mm. And uh, enjoy your holiday. Is there a ramp for this one? Uh, <laughs> sorry, wrong Mike. <laughs> so, so, this, this, so it's my, confusing, my brothers I know. and sisters, why are you doing like this? <laughs> we will start changing our own. We will not give you chicken anyhow. Eh? So we don't even know which one. There's ramp, this one. No, there's no ramp. But hey, come on. Happy uh, Eid. <laughs> Happy Eid. A lot of people... Uh, are taking this time out, you know, to reflect on things. Mm. And <laughs> people, what? Okay, so should I talk about what we talked about online just now? Should I? Should I? No. Okay. No. I should. I shouldn't touch no. it, right? No. Okay. I'll let it. But what are your plans for go. today, by the way? Um, like, what are we doing today? So I have no plans actually. Okay. Uh, for hmm? the moment, yes, I actually have. We're not no going plans to Brazil. No. <laughs> yes, because I intend to take some time off. Take some time off later okay. on in the year. Okay. And um, so Go today to is one of those days <laughs> that um, I just want to reflect, be okay. thankful, and okay. celebrate me. Yes. You know, this oh. happens the older you are. The older oh, yeah. you are. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's yeah. what happens. So, so we, I know we, a lot of I mean, there, you know, people have been calling and asking, so it's your birthday. What are you going to do? And I'm like, no, I ain't doing anything for anybody. Oh, I am not buying yes. anything for anybody. Yeah. I'm yes. not going to flood my social media platforms with pictures of me. But you are going to be on the show dancing shooting. like as if it was. Yes, yes. I'm going to do that yourself. because, Supper I mean, kingdom. yes, yes. So, <laughs> as uh, yes, because that's my job, to put a smile on your face, mm -hmm. offline or online. Nice. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. So, I yeah, see. that's what I'm going to be doing but today. But, M.M., just so you know, you put a smile on people's faces every day. I know. You do, too. you do. Uh, even though different. sometimes you try and wipe the smile away. Yes. So, <laughs> thankfully, this year, I ain't getting the Grinch Award. No, 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 no. Don't worry. You won't be good. You won't be getting that. You've tried, you've tried. In any case, first of all, um, you are a, uh, like you said, everybody kind yeah. of, like, looks forward to seeing you for certain reasons, yes. especially on the street. So, you're kind of like an influencer and everything. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about influence now let's mm. talk about the fact that a couple of weeks ago yeah. we had uh, one of our very good friends when it comes to music in Nigeria come out and tell you guys <laughs> warning you guys should expect something coming from my staple very soon and it ain't gonna be music Tiwa Savage a couple of weeks ago talked about the fact that she was going to be or perhaps she was being blackmailed and only just yesterday we actually saw evidence of the fact to what she was saying, that yeah. someone put out something yeah. um, very disparaging about her, and it was the sex tape that she announced might be uh, um, released by someone yeah. whom she didn't know. I remember Mike telling that it can be traced and everything. Well, yeah. I'd like to see that happen right now, Mike. So it actually can be, it just depends on yeah. whether no, no, but, her but that, team... That, that's uh, not what I wanted to talk about. What oh, I wanted okay. to talk about is this. The fact that she came out to tell about it. Yeah. What level of forgiveness are we about to, are we going to, are we willing to... To give this situation. Why should we forgive? Why? I don't no, think no, no, we should no, be forgiving uh, that's her. It's a question. Why don't we forgive? No, no, no. Maybe I use the wrong word. What level of um, uh, what's the right understanding. word? Understanding. Understanding. That's the Thank word. Thank you, Titi. Yeah. Are we willing to <laughs> give empathy? to this situation? Empathy. empathy. Ah. Exactly. Oh yeah, your own. Yeah. yeah, your own. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What I level of empathy are we willing? Yeah, yeah. empathy, <laughs> understanding. Um, I think she did, as Mike said that day, take power away from it. Because it would have been a bigger hot uh, uh, scoop. Would have been a, yeah. It would have been a bigger scoop if she hadn't already pre-warned pre pre people. Um, but the truth is, it is still a very private moment that was mm -hmm. exposed to the entire world. So it is something that she will have to um, get over over time. Then you have to also remember that she has a child mm. who will likely go to school. 
Um, and, you know, you never know how many people in that environment have seen or heard about such a thing. So it, there, are little, there are many factors, family members as well. You have to think about her immediate circle mm -hmm. and how they should rally around her and try and protect her from, um, you know, what might be coming, mm -hmm. especially mentally and emotionally uh, speaking. 2021 mm -hmm. yeah. has been an interesting year, I mm. must say. Mm. Um, I mean, this month alone... <laughs> it has been filled with a lot. Well, you know, why are you looking that like way? A lot of gossip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's been, uh, I mean, so much, so much has been happening, has happened this month alone. Yeah. We have the Jane Menor mm. um, and Tonto DK controversy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then there's Tiwa Savage sex tape. What's next? Um, What's next? No, no, nothing next, please. I think we've had <laughs> no, our yeah, enough. We've had a yeah, for but, this um, yeah. it's it's really, really, really um, sad. I mean, this um, new, this, I mean, this, this ongoing at the moment. It's it's quite sad, and um, I'm still going to say. It. I said it the last time. I'm going to say it again. Yeah, women, mm. do not. Under, I don't care if that, except if you do not mind. Mm -hmm. but hey, even if you mind. But w if, even if you <laughs> mind, then what are we teaching our youngins? What yeah. are we telling them? Are we saying that it's okay for you to have a sex tape and be popular mm. or be famous? Mm. And is that enough to ride on? Mm. Do not put, put yourself in that kind of situation, yeah. please. Mm. For whatever reason, don't. If, if, even if he, even don't, please, please, I would like to, I, I, I want to see, I want to see, I, I want to use this as an experiment. I want to see how this is going mm -hmm. to affect her career, especially the fact that she's got an album out. I want to see what it's going to do to the mm. numbers. Data is what I'm concerned about now. Yeah. yeah. I, I actually, uh, I want to, uh, as as we should, I think we should touch on the issue of private moments and mm -hmm. intimate moments between uh, adults. She is single, right, mm -hmm. uh, presently, so she, it's not like she's married. She was having an intimate moment with someone who I feel betrayed that trust. Exactly. Mm -hmm. How much of it should be put out there in the first place? It shouldn't place? How be much, put out how there. How much of your private Protect time? your space. Protect it with your life. Like, you can never know, even with your I, spouse. I I'm want to talk you know, about even these. with your spouse, you need to be very, very, you need to be cautious. Mm. I know that you cannot be cautious enough because you're supposed to trust people. Mm. But then, you just, you can only trust you, yourself. So I'm going to touch on something you that You can't trust my, what the next uh, person's uh, uh, motive nobody is. Nobody has touched on here. I want to talk about the anatomy of a very short video, <laughs> very short video that very we, short, we were yeah. exposed to. Um, the fact that that moment seemed like one that was, it seemed like, mm a very spontaneous moment, yeah. is what I think it was. Um, I, I don't know if everybody has seen it. Um, uh, and it, you have to ask yourself what happens in those spontaneous moments, mm -hmm. whether you are in certain kinds of, fr the, kind, the frame of mind that you might be in, um, and how this impacts everything else. Mm -hmm. This might not, and this is just me saying, have not, it might not be a relationship where it's um, kind of like uh, two people having a long haul type relationship. Mm. This might have been just a one time thing mm. because of the situation of the video, if you ask me. So it's not a situation where you have to start asking. I'm saying now, uh, these moments you have with your significant other, what I'm saying, it might not have been a significant other. It, it might, might have, have just been, been a random. random she, in, the, in the interview she took, she said, that it was someone she was currently with in the interview. Yeah, she, she said it was her boyfriend. Yes. Yeah, it was. Right. It was so that was a, that was the guy in the video. Well, that's the assumption. That's what she in, assumption in the, in the because um, during, with, during her radio interview, she said it was an intimate moment she was having with her boyfriend. Mm. So um, was, it, but it's not her boyfriend. Would you claim is not aware if, if you had such a situation, would you claim that this person no, is there. not my boyfriend? Would you actually come out and say that? Oh no, it was just a one-off thing. You wouldn't. My point is that. Regardless, we live in a society, in a patriarchal society. So, uh, no one is calling out the guy. Everyone as in is going after so Tiwa Savage because she's a woman. That is the point. Yeah. That's the point. How about the other party here? Exactly. Is it only just because she is a celebrity that we're looking her at trust, her? Her trust was. This other guy in the picture, That's nobody's saying no anything. No one, exactly. About. No one is yeah. saying anything about him. No one is going to call him out for doing that video. Everyone is going to uh, go after Tiwa Savage. Not him. because she's, yeah. only, she's a celebrity, but she's also a woman. So, Mike, in, order to, in order to. Okay, so go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> much, much I know about all of this, you, you, can't, uh, you can't dictate to somebody what to put and what not to put out. <laughs> Especially if it's an adult. What to do, a public display or intimate or private moments and all of that. That was, I, I, hope, I, I, I hope we have um, law enforcement on this and they can fish out who leaked that, even after she had won. Yeah. That is what I'm, so going about, about it and all of that, it's, 
It is actually, it actually, um, I'm, I'm icked about it. But then let's get, by, I just want to say, let's get law enforcement. Let's get who yes. put that out. That is a crime. Yes. You that is a crime. A and hopefully yeah. the person is punished for that. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. You're still on to Wake Up Nigeria. Thankfully, we are all home today. It's a public holiday. So you get, have all the time to do exercise, to also make Breakfast, it depends on how you want it. You want to go easy or hard. Welcome to the kitchen, guys. With me in the kitchen this morning is Chef Anu. And we are making fish toast bread. Yes. Very easy recipe, I know, for those of us that want to take the whole time today to rest. I just want to go easy and light on the breakfast. On your screen right there are the ingredients, people. Check them out. Chef Anu, over to you. Let's fill out the ingredients. We have um, our salt fish, uh, mayonnaise, chili pepper, spring onions, green bell pepper, green bell pepper. Wow. Okay. Not so easy, like I said earlier on, because I'm seeing red, green, red <laughs> bell peppers, and I'm wondering what's going through your mind, Chef Anu. Okay. How's this breakfast going to come together? So we're just going to chop our red and green bell pepper. Okay. We'll also chop our... Spring, spring onions. onions. Okay. Yeah, so we'll mix it with our mashed fish. Okay. The fish has already been boiled. Okay. So we would add um, the mayonnaise to it. Okay. A pinch of salt and then to be in our sauce. Are we cooking any of this? No, no. Just yeah. the fish that's been uh, that's been yes, cooked already. Yes. And I see that we're using Titus fish yes. or mackerel, like we call it. But then, is there any other fish that we could yes, use? Yes, any other fish could be used. You could use beef. You could use anything. Okay, so where does the butter come into this recipe? The bread. Okay. The back of the bread before toasting. Okay, so we're still going to use our pan. No, I, I have a toaster. Oh, we're using a toaster. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Oh, well, now I have an idea of what breakfast is going to be about or going to look like this morning. So let's get cooking. Let's get it yeah, ready. So um, if you're just fun. joining us on the show this morning with me is Chef Anu. And we are making fish toast bread. What are you making for breakfast today? Are you making what we are making today? Or you want to try something else? It would be nice for us to, for you, to send us a picture or a video on all our social media platforms at TVK Connect. Whether it's just on Facebook or on Instagram with pictures of what you are making for breakfast this morning. It's the Eid El Malud and... Um, well, as much as we are celebrating with our Muslim um, friends and family this morning, we would also like what you're making for breakfast. Are you going easy or hard? And um, we have on your screen right now, we're going to display the ingredients so that you can see it. And just in case you're wondering, what does a toaster look like? Well, here it is. On your screen right there are the ingredients. People will... Um, could grab a pen and a paper and scribble them down. We have our salt fish. Chef Anu, please. You're the one who's making breakfast. Yes, so we're making this our salt, chili pepper, our seasoning cube, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, our bread, mm. our butter, fish, spring onions, and mayonnaise. Yeah. Um, now let's look. Let's talk about an alternative okay. for our macro fish. I mean, it's too early, and we know that a lot of people would like to be very. Some people are just going to be in bed all day, not doing anything. Uh, what? Do you, what can we find around the house? For those of us who don't want to, we're too lazy to go out to go get mackerel fish. What can we eggs. use? Mm, eggs. Eggs. Yes, so Are we going to boil them or, yeah. or? We could boil it. Okay. We could boil the egg and then um, chop them. Chop okay. the boiled egg. Okay. Yes. And then or fry it. Okay. Anyway. Okay, great. Do you need me to help you out with anything? I don't know. Yeah, I know it's my birthday today, and <laughs> as much as I like to be pampered and spoiled today because it's my day, I would also like to help out in the kitchen because I love to cook. I mean, cooking is one of the things that I love to do. Yes, I was going to show you, show you earlier, Ron, what um, a toaster looks like. Um, but for those who don't have toasters, what else can we use? So they can just use their pan. Okay. So it would be more like a French... French toast, French toast. Ooh, yes. that would come out really nice. And please, do not forget to debone your fish Yes. before you mash them. You don't want to have bone in your um, fish toast because it's not really going to come out nicely. Yeah, but okay. All right, so I'm just going to um, close it. And do, you, do we need to heat it up? No. Okay, not. we're just going to leave it here so we are ready to use it. And then um, we'll start toasting. All right, great stuff happening here in the kitchen. I'm pretty excited about breakfast. Are you? 
let us know. Let us know, please. We'd like to hear from you. Don't just watch. We'd also like you, you know, to reach out to us. We want this to be an engaging segment. So we, we hear from you while we teach you. you. You know, that's how it works. Just so that we know that you are paying attention and that you are a part of our every morning breakfast. Would love that, wouldn't we? Okay, so... Um, Chopping up our green peppers, uh, we have, we're going to, you know, move on to our red bell peppers. That's a lot of red peppers. Like, are we using everything? <laughs> okay, just to, some of it, right? Yeah. And well, um, if you're not a fan of red, green, or red, green red, red bell peppers, is there any other thing we could use? Okay, yes, cabbage, carrots. Oh, yeah, this, yeah, that's like a really, really good yes. option. And a very healthy option as well. I mean, for those of us who are... Um, Dieting. There's a lot of dieting going on these days. A lot of feed fam. <laughs> Everyone is going feed fam, but that's okay. Carrots, cabbage, healthy recipe. They're vegetables, and then um, yeah, we could do that. We could use our red um, um, carrots, and and then we could also use a wheat bread, right? Yes. Any yeah. Bread. Just I mean, Meat. for those of us who are yeah, oat bread, okay. banana bread. All right. Um, so uh, well. We are getting breakfast ready, and uh, everything is going pretty nicely here in the kitchen. We are going to be back shortly. We'd like to be part of our early morning breakfast, and we're not leaving you behind. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now, this Tuesday morning, we're taking a parenting segment today. A very important conversation has to happen, especially with regards to creating a routine, especially, but not limited to, a child with special needs. Now with us, we have Adebola Adifuyu. She is a Montessori-trained educator, professionally licensed to work with individuals with special needs. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. So uh, first of all, uh, let's give a little insight into uh, when a parent or what a parent should look out for to figure out if a child has special needs. Okay, because um, it's not, um, that it's a wide range. When we say special needs, there's a wide range. So um, I think I'll narrow it down to neurodevelopmental dis disabilities. Mm -hmm. What you should look out for, we call them red flags when a child is growing. One, not maintaining eye contact. Okay. Two is, doesn't like to associate with others. Okay. And then has a repetitive way of doing things. And okay. also has a, um, a deep attention to detail. What do I mean? Once things done in a particular way, once it's altered, child either cries or throws tantrums or just behaves behaves in a funny way. So those are like red flags you need to look to watch okay. out for. Yeah. So uh, essentially, eye contact is a very important one. Yeah. Um, dissociative um, personality. Be yeah. Uh, with with other children, children or with adults or anyone. Anyone with anyone with okay. anyone. And then okay, you could also say sensitivity to different things, maybe to okay. lights, to fabric to types of food, to noise. Now, mm -hmm. some of these things you just said sounds like the average child. Um, but I guess there must be some extremes. Yeah. So um, how, what sort of period of time should a parent take to observe all these manners? OK, you could start from when the child is an infant. When, OK, let me give an example. A baby, most babies, when you smile at them, they smile back. Okay. So when you notice your child isn't smiling back, even when you tickle and all, yes. you know when you tickle a child, they move, you see them smiling and moving and all. Or you see just see the child move and he's keeping a straight face. Okay. That's a sign. You're wondering what, what's wrong with this child. That's okay. something to take note of. Okay. That doesn't mean the child has a special need, okay. but it's something you need to like pay attention to, you know, like that little, okay. little things like that. So um, eventually um, parents go to a specialist uh, like yourself and um, they're given this information. What is the next move? I'm seeing, based on our topic, that a routine is important. important. Yes. But how do you start creating one? Okay. Now, when you know what is wrong with your child, you need to know what exactly is wrong. Once you know that, then you can think of creating a routine. Now, rut um, routine is, you can start as early as a when a child is six months. What do I mean? Imagine when you have a child that when she wakes up, the first thing you do is put her on the potty. Okay. Once that, so that means that you want the child to poo. Once you do that over a consistent period, the child knows that once he or she wakes up, the next, her mind or his mind tells him that I'm going to the potty. So once you put the child on the potty, does the first thing, and then the next thing goes, takes a bath. So you started creating that routine already. Okay. 
one, and then as you continue like that, you don't break the pattern because once you break the pattern, it takes like it's like it sets the child back. You now have to like start all over again. Yeah. But you you need to consistently do it. Once you consistently do it, the child begins to flow into that. So even as the child grows up, the child knows maybe like child when child is one or two, yeah. she or she knows that when I wake up, the first thing I'm doing is going to the toilet. So, but now because when child was younger, you were using potty. But changing to the, the restroom now, you need to take the child physically there and all that. So it's a gradual process. You just continue it over and over and over again. Yeah. Okay, so creating this routine, even for... I'm going to go back to the fact that it sounds like the same routine for a normal, normal child. child. Yeah. So I guess the only difference here is that you might get a major pushback from a child, child. with special needs. Yeah. The major difference is you have to do it more consistently. Okay. Now... If you do a tip, I'll call them, a, I won't use the word normal, I'll use a typical child. Yeah. When you do a typical child, max one, two weeks, the child has gotten a hang of it and will probably do it one of, like that. And if he, there are a few mistakes, maybe once a while. But the child that has special needs, it, it might take a longer time. Sometimes it takes a month, sometimes it takes two months, sometimes three months. But it has to be consistent. There's, you need more time in building a routine for a child with special needs than a typical child. Okay, so um, this schedule really, I feel like this schedule isn't really for the child, it's more for the parents. Well, because okay. uh, I'm, I'm guessing a child with special needs, as a parent of a child with special needs, you can't exactly leave that child with just any nanny or any housekeeper to look after. So this routine, uh, who is it more helpful for? Is it the child or is it the parent? It's for both. Okay. Because one, let's, use, let's talk about the parent first. When we do create a routine for the parent, it makes the parent take it. After a while, she takes a he or she takes a step back. You can have a bit of relief from having to do everything for the child. Okay. And then for the child, it, it builds confidence and then independence in the child. Because okay. once a child gets up and is able to do a, um, a sequence of things, mm -hmm. he's, he gets bolder. He or she gets bolder. He's more confident to be able to like step out and do things for him or herself. So it's for both, actually. Okay, so let, let's touch on some parents who I would say uh, fall into the, well, I guess they're in some area of denial. denial. Um, and of course, there is the whole God forbid factor. Kind of thing. Uh, the God forbid factor comes in here. You know, it's not my child. That's not my child's issue. You know, and um, meaning that they don't get to see a specialist in good time. They probably wait for a longer oh, wow. period. How do you begin to build a routine with a child who has developed to maybe two years old? Since you said we should start mm -hmm. at six months. Now, for a child with two, that's even a child with two, uh, that, uh, that is two is still young, actually. You can okay. still work with that. That's still a toddler. Okay. That's easier compared to someone that is like seven or eight or nine. Yeah. Okay. So it just, in that case, it just, it just takes longer and then you need to be more firm okay. because a two-year-old child has emotions and is getting to understand herself and her environment. Yeah. So it'll just take a, a more, you just need to be more firm okay. and more deliberate. So okay. yeah. You're talking to the child. You know when it's a younger child and infant, you just do everything. You don't even, you, yes, you can talk, but she's not the child. The infant isn't resisting, it could. Mm -hmm. But a two-year-old child can tell you no or dig her heels in and tell yeah. you, I'm not going. Mm -hmm. But you need to explain to the child, this, we're doing this, we're doing this. Just fo follow me, let's do this, let's do that, you know, so, mm. yeah. So. Consistently. Yeah, consistently. Continue, yeah, continue. And then, like I said, be more firm. So, I'm just concerned if this actually helps change the situation? Does this improve the child? Does this help healing begin? Or is this a situation that is basically a constant that you have to learn to live with? It's, now, healing is um, relative. Okay. Let me, what, what, what do I mean by that? When you, like, you create a routine for a child, it's the, creating the routine is the base, is the foundation okay. for any other form of knowledge that child would have. Okay. Let me give an example. A lot of us, when we were growing up, we went to boarding schools. Okay. When we were going then, I'm sure we were rebellious. Nobody wanted to go. But after a while, we formed the routine. You wake up, you go for breakfast, you go to school, you yeah. go for classes, you come, you know. That built the foundation for where we are today. So we realized when we are up early to go to work and all. So that's how it is for any child that has mm -hmm. special needs. You're building the foundation for the future, for, okay. for school work, for interaction with people and all that. Because when the child wakes up, goes to the toilet, maybe prays, has breakfast, would interact with you, the parents, before going out to the world. So like I said, it's, a, it's building a foundation. Okay. Yeah, for, for that. All right. Now, I have to say thank you for coming to talk to us. I know that there are probably some questions out there that parents have. Uh, and of course, there are some parents who are probably at their wit's end with what to do. Uh, please send your questions in. Use our hashtag, Wake Up Nigeria on TVC.
even if you have been in any form of denial or you're, you're in the God forbid mode, yes, still ask questions so that you can know what to do to uh, get uh, settled and get your mind on track. All right, we're going to be heading into the kitchen now. MM, how's it going over there? It is going very well, Titi. Thank you very much. Interesting conversation there. Well done, Doctor. Okay, so yes, with me in the kitchen is Chef Anu. And this morning, we are making fish toast bread. Yes. And uh, so, Chef Anu, over to you. Okay. Tell us to talk about the ingredients and where we are. Okay, so we've already chopped our red bell pepper, green bell pepper, our spring onions. I just deboned the fish. Then we we'll had the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, um, a little pinch of salt before we toast. All right. Um, I see that we have just deboned our fish. Yes. And uh, yes, it's interesting to note that fish has a lot of, you know, amazing health benefits, guys. But before we delve into those benefits, um, let's talk about, you know, the process for our fish toast bread. Okay. Where we at? Where are we going? How is this gonna? What What do we need to do? I say that we still have our mayonnaise and our butter here, and um, we are mashing our fish. So what do we do yes. with so this? Once I'm done mashing it, I will add it to the um, red and green bell pepper with the spring. Oh, we are going to add the fish. Yes. Uh, please note that the fish has already been cooked, right? Yes. Great. It's already boiled. Um, so did you add any ingredients to the fish? Well, just cooking? salt, salt, and seasoning cube. Okay, that's it. Okay, now. Okay, so now that this is ready, what's next? Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to add the fish. Okay, so in our bowl here, we have our vegetables. So we have our yes. red, green, our and um, bell peppers, and we have our spring onions. And now we are tossing in our macro fish. Is there any other fish we could use? Yes, any fish. Any fish Titles, at all? Yeah. Any fish, also smoked fish, fish bird fish. So imagine having this with catfish. <laughs> Just depends very, on your taste and preference. Right, I know. Okay, so now we're going to mix all of this in. Yes, we oh, okay. mayonnaise. Oh, so nice. add this. this is really going to be yummy. Nice, nice, nice. So it really pains me to see this head of fish just lying here, to be <laughs> honest, because the head of fish is my favorite part of the fish. Yes, it is. <laughs> It is. And yes, for some of us who are, you know, on a diet, um, fish is a better option. Yes, it's very rich in a lot and loads of loads and loads of nutrients. Like you don't even want to know. It's very high in vitamin D, which is very good for your health. And uh, it's good for if you're having depression. I hear the fish helps. Yes, it helps, you know, for depression. It helps um, to, you know, um, if you're... It also helps to prevent, you know, heart diseases or heart attack or any of those heart-related diseases. You're, it's better to go for a fish instead of, you know, your meats. Fish is also always a better option. And, of course, it's very high in protein. You cannot even, you know, um, underestimate its benefits, guys. So go and buy a fish today. Besides, meat is very expensive. Beef is expensive. Chicken is expensive. Turkey is expensive. But I know Titus is expensive too, though. Yes, it's quite expensive. But we also have hake. Yeah, but you actually get good... Um, hake is actually a, a good option as well. Yes. You have hake and then you have um, shawa. Yes. Shawa is not that expensive. It's, it's quite affordable. But I don't know if you can use shower for a fish toast spread because it's got a lot of bone in it. So you're going to spend most of your time de boning the fish. But um, as you can see, um, our breakfast is coming up really well. Now that all of this has been tossed in, we are going to begin spreading, right? Yes, I'm and then to just add a pinch of salt. Salt, and then put in our pepper and seasoning cube, and then we are going to yes. spread on our bread and then put in the toaster. And Breakfast is served. We have to go on a quick break now. Um, are we ready to go on a break? All right, great. Okay, so we're gonna um, go on a quick break, guys. Yes, I know, I'm taking away, I'm carried away by breakfast already. Can you feel me drilling? I oh, know you can't, you can't. Anyways, you have to go on a quick break now, people. Stay with us, Wake Up Nigeria continues in a bit. The next 45 minutes, Ah, uh, guys, you don't want to know. Do you want to know? Should we tell you? Ah, uh, no, don't worry. You just have to stick around to find out. Stay with us. Please. 
right back. Now we are the home of good vibes. The day only officially starts when you tune to Wake Up Night Tune. Oh, you bet. Well, hey, hey, just do what we say. Always sit back and relax and make sure that we help you out to that start of the week that you're looking forward to. Well, it's a Tuesday. Yeah. Let's disregard that then. <laughs> <laughs> it is the second hour, though. Yes, it is. And, uh, you know, MM has been doing her darndest to make sure that, you know, the food is getting prepared properly. How are you doing, MM? Yes, uh, mm -hmm. the tea, things are coming on really nicely. As you can see, Chef Anu's had at work. And I'm just here feeling pretty, mm -hmm. not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's basking in the birthday glory I once am, again. I Happy am, birthday, I am. Thank you. <laughs> and all my amazing followers on Instagram are sending me messages. Thank you very much. I see you and I appreciate you. Oh, shucks. Lucky you. Yeah. <laughs> now, we won't let you wait too long to know what exactly we have over the next ah, yes. 45 minutes. My name is Tisa Lyle. Mm -hmm. Of course, my name is Mazingo Peel. Remember, you can stream the show live from anywhere you might be, even if you're on the move, tvcentertainment.tv and on Facebook as well, where we are strolling right now, as always. We look forward to your comments on that uh, platform, so please keep them coming. We want to read them and connect with you. Mm -hmm. Those comments, we actually look forward to those. We're, mm -hmm. we're here for those, you know. We actually do read them, uh, but please just make sure you have our app downloaded for either Android or iOS. We're right there. Mm -hmm. We'll have Paul Ugochuku Ekejuba, Dweba rather, uh, aka Pragya. Now he's an African, he makes parody Bollywood videos. Now he's gonna be joining us very, very soon. He trends in India on the regular. And of course here in Nigeria, we can't wait to have a conversation with him. There is, there is a certain <laughs> dramatic nature that is associated with Bollywood, Bollywood <laughs> especially the soaps. Mm. Uh, not essentially the movies, but the, the soaps. Yeah. Those ones, they drag on and on. Those guys have on. some of the best movies ever. Yeah, they ever. do. They do. When I think oh, about like... Slumdog Millionaire, mm. I think about um, White Lang. Tiger, mm. yeah, I think about three, uh, three Idiots. Mm -hmm. yeah. Man! Guys. To, uh, to most yeah. of the ones that you have exactly. actually mentioned, uh, they have exactly. been Nollywood Hollywood yeah. collaborations. Mm. But not to take away anything from Bollywood, Bollywood actually has, yeah. and it has been consistent since the uh, 70s. They yeah. have to remember. Yeah. They've been doing it a long time. So mm -hmm. You know, I, did some, I, I saw some, I saw some, uh, some people decided not to watch Squid Game because they termed it K-drama. K oh, drama. Really? It's yeah. K drama that <laughs> so, one. Really? <laughs> yeah. You know, K thriller, maybe. Uh, yeah, K thriller. K drama has really, there's been an uprise, mm. you know, there's been a lot, and uh, it's been, you know, with, especially even in, in Africa now, mm. you know, but they're like, ah, it's K drama. It's but, not so. Um, it's not. Sadly, um, <laughs> you, season three, mm. has, you know, kicked it off the number one sport. On oh, really? Oh, you haven't seen you? I only just started with the first oh, episode. You oh, you should see you. I started, but I'm not enthusiastic about you it. Should. How much can you squeeze out of one guy's uh, infatuation over another woman. Uh, this, don't worry. <laughs> Welcome, second hour here. Let's do the news for Wake Up Niger. My name is Mazino Pio. Now, concerns over the effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccine came to the headline um, again with the death of the first black U.S. Secretary of State, Colin Powell, who died of COVID-19 complications. The 84-year-old died yesterday despite being fully vaccinated. Flags have been lowered to half mass in honor of the former top military official, who became the first African-American Secretary of State in 2001 under Republican President George W. Bush. He also sparked controversy for helping garner support for the Iraq war. Tributes have also poured in for the man who President Joe Biden has described as a dear friend who embodied the highest ideals of both warrior and diplomat. The White House has described his passing as a heartbreaking tragedy. Well, uh, as people saw in the statement issued by the president, a very personal statement about his personal relationship, uh, this is obviously a heartbreaking tragedy, tragedy for the country and one the president is feeling personally. Uh, there are extremely rare uh, cases of deaths or hospital hospitalizations among fully vaccinated individuals. That has been the case even before uh, the, the death of Colin Powell, especially among people, older people over a certain age uh, and people who have underlying health issues or people who are battling other diseases. Uh, that has been the case. It is also the case, and this is important for people to know and understand out there who are concerned that an unvaccinated person has a more than 10 times greater risk of dying from COVID-19. Back to Nigeria now and in Sokoto State's 
Bandits have killed about 30 persons in Goronyo town. Now, Governor Aminu Waziri Tambuwal disclosed this during a meeting with the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya. He pledged that his administration shall continue to support the army and other security operatives. Now, this recent attack is the third in two weeks where bandits have attacked a village market in Sokoto State. And in Kaduna State, a joint team of security operatives have raided a suspected bandits camp in Giwa local government area of the state. And at least 10 suspects, uh, bandits, were killed in the operation. Now, one of the bandits' camp was also raised by the troops while some bandits escaped with gunshot injuries, as a statement issued by the Kaduna State Commissioner for Internal Security said, and Home Affairs. Samuel Arwa says the uh, troops encountered the bandits who were heavily armed around Kwanan Bataru in Fatima community and engaged them in a fire exchange. And that's it for the news. It's time for us to take our health segment this morning, and we have a very important discussion to have. We're taking a look at the link between drug and substance abuse and mental illness. Now, we're talking with Dr. Maimuna Kadiri, popularly referred to as the celebrity shrink. Now, she's a multiple award-winning health physician and advocate as well as coach, and it's an honor to have you on the couch. Thank you. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> so, mental health and illicit drugs. drugs yeah. I've, of, I've often wondered, because I've heard different conversations where mm. people say if they smoke a certain substance, it, you know, it gets them, to, um, it gets them a lot more open-minded. Minded. They think better. They apparently work better in some certain situations. I've also um, had some people say that when mm. they take some certain drugs, it calms them down. So what is the link between these substances and mental illness? Good question. And um, yes, quite a number of people do that. Why? Yeah. Because um, people with social anxiety, okay. as may, maybe a public speaker or a performer, okay. you know, and they can't get on stage and see that crowd. Sometimes they kind of take alcohol, alcohol will calm you down, calm your nerves and okay. all that. Okay. Somebody with depression, who is trying to get out of that bad mood or that low mood and mm -hmm. low energy, loss of interest in things or not really they love to do, some of them indulge in marijuana. It's not just the, which can, of course, get them excited and some of them even become productive and they do a lot of things. Yeah. It's not even about the use, it's the excessive use and okay. abuse. Okay. And is that excessive use and abuse that we are looking at? Because when you look at the global statistics, about 275 million people use drugs, wow. and about um, 36 of them, million of them, or 30 million of them, are having one or form of one form of the order of drug abuse. Okay. But well, let's bring it back home because when you talk about global, it looks as if it's too far. In Nigeria, the current statistics says that about 14.3 million Nigerians are abusing drugs, and out of that, between the ages of 15 to 65. Wow. And about three million of that are having one form of drug abuse or the other. Mm. This is where it gets us, because we are women. Mm. One in four Nigerian drug user is a woman. Mm. Women are natural nurturers. So you can imagine we being messed up. How do we groom the mm. next generation? Mm. And the highest use of substance in the country is cannabis, because it's accessible, mm. affordable, available. Mm. So in 2030, that we are estimating that about 20 million Nigerians will be abusing drugs. So we must nip it on board right now, yeah, yeah. that link, because when people continue to abuse substances, they can easily lead to, it can easily lead to mental illness, because mental illnesses affect the way you think, the way okay. you feel, the way you behave. And substances, when they are used or abused excessively, they can affect the way the person thinks. Yeah. their mental health okay. and their nervous system. Now, you touched on something. You said social anxiety. Yeah. Now, this is a disorder. Yes. Um, you also said... Um, uh, so, so there are many different... Depression, yeah. which is also a disorder. Yes. Um, now, there are many young people who are on stage, entertainers, mm. in front of cameras. Mm -hmm. There are many people who are in states where they have to become public speakers. Mm. Um, but it's not just those people. I exactly. Guess, no. Just getting through the day. Just getting so through the day, exactly. This then makes me lean on the fact that there's a larger percentage of people with mental disorders than we think and who, who are 
sort of medicating, self-medicating self -medicating with, with these drugs. Exactly, different. Mm. And so you mm. find out that who are those that are likely, when you look at the link, it, it's what we call bi-directional. Okay. People, so we need to know that not everybody that has a mental illness will abuse drugs. Okay. And not everybody who is abusing drugs will have a mental illness. Okay. Yeah, because we have people abusing drugs, they don't have mental illness. But we need to know why are people, what is that link? People that are having mental illness are in denial. Okay. They, they may just be every other thing that comes to play, take this, take that, and before you know it's happening, they're abusing one substance or the other. People that are having mental illness, but they are, you know, hiding it. Mm. So anything under the weather, mm. any, you know, illicit drug, whatever, mm. that would just get them to that stage mm. there. Yeah. Then you have people that are already having existing mental illness, like the depression I talked about, you know, self-medicate. As far as you are self-medicating, there's a thin line. And this is where a lot of us need to be very careful. Okay. We are not sleeping well. Okay. And then you just believe that, okay, if I take this pill to enhance my sleep, I will sleep better. Drug addiction does not, is not an event. Most times it's, it's a process. So you find out that quite a number of us that are not sleeping well, we, we go to the doctor, they will give us medication, but we won't go back for a refill or to reevaluate. We'll just take that prescription and keep buying and keep buying. Okay. And most of those uh, medications, which we call benzodiazepines, where Valium and yeah. um, Lexotan fall in, mm. before mm. you know what's happening, mm. one tablet we're using in the first and second week, by the third week you're using two tablets, mm. by the second month you're using three tablets. That is where tolerance, dependency, and addiction sets in. So you okay. having sleep issues, Go resolve it with your doctor, not take drug enhancers. So now I, I want to touch on the word itself, mental illness. Yeah. To be mentally ill to the average, well, the Nigerian average layman, man, okay. uh, they expect it to make reference to someone who's on the street, who is unkept, who hasn't combed their hair or looks dirty or, or the like, or who shows erratic behavior. Mm. That's not the type of mental illness you're talking about. At all. So you're not saying that smoking certain substances or taking certain sub substances would lead to someone going on the street. Let me tell you the truth about that man on the street. Okay. Two things are about that man or woman on the street. Either the relatives don't know where they are, or they know they don't want to associate with the person because of stigma and discrimination. Okay. Now, this is the big news Nigerians need to li listen to. That man on the street or that woman, it's just, that person is just 1% of people that live with mental illness. 1%. 99% mm. is everybody here on this studio. Mm. Package madness. Are we not looking glam? Mm. We are packaged. Yeah. True. So the truth is, I don't know who has taken an antidepressant this morning to come here. You don't know who has taken um, marijuana, mm. heroin, whatever, mm. to calm his one nerves, and he's sitting down here pretty. Mm productive, doing what he or, he, he or she is supposed to do, mm. and it's not disturbing anybody. So we have to be very careful. That stigma and discrimination is what is not encouraging help-seeking behavior. Okay. Is what is not encouraging people to speak up and speak out. Is what is not encouraging people to get help from the right people, the right places, and the right time. So the truth is, whenever they say we should go to the dentist, they say we should go twice a year. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever they say go to your uh, optometrist, they say once, once, in, a, once yeah, in two years, yes, I think. Yeah. Go and check your eyes, go mm. and check your teeth. How many times a year do you believe the average person should visit a mental spell? At least once. At least when you do your medicals, yes. also ask to do your mentals. Because okay. the truth is that we are all stressed. The main reason why you even see a doctor or you go to a pharmacy or go to your religious leader mm. is the word stress. And that is over 90% of the cases. So why don't you just check your stress level, know what is affecting you so that you can nip it in the bud. Because prevention is still always better than cure. Sure, definitely. <laughs> so um, for those who have uh, possibly been to a doctor uh, and they've been diagnosed with some certain mental disorder, yes, okay. and they're in that denial stage you talked about yeah. earlier on. Um, what advice do you have for them? Um, and for the parents mm. who are watching the young people uh, indiscriminately use certain substances or have suspicions about it, what advice do you have for them? For you, if you're already dealing with a mental illness or you've been told you are dealing with a mental illness, being in denial, we always, we only make it prolonged and the outcome worse. Oh. So it's better to accept it just the way hypertension, diabetes, cancer, it, the only difference is that we are sympathetic towards this food, but we stigmatize people with mental illness. The mm -hmm. earlier you accept and embrace it, mm -hmm. the better. Mental illnesses are treatable, beatable, and manageable. Mm -hmm. And for the parent out there, if you even have an intuition 
that your child is abusing substance, run with it. Mm. Make sure you nip it in board. You, your child stop, you know, stop opening the door when you knock and yes. whatever. Your child always takes your key and says they want to go and wash car and whatever. Mm. These are some of the things that will show you that there's a problem. Run with it. Don't be in denial. And please, please, parents, listen to your child non-judgmentally so mm. that you can understand what the problem is, not necessarily listening to respond to them. Thank you so much, Dr. Maimuna, for coming to talk to us. And I have a feeling a few people learned a few things today. Please reach out to us with our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC, at TVC Connect, with your questions and contributions. We can't wait. Now <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> sorry you caught me there, but yeah, uh, you can see why. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome. Oh, yeah. We have a final guest on the couch here with us. Mm. His name is Paul Ikijuba, mm. a.k.a. Pragia, mm. the first African to make parody uh, Bollywood uh, videos, will be joining us yep. here, and he's right here with us. Of you course. are welcome. Pragia, yep. Paul, which one is it? I don't know which one to call you. Anyone you can call me. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, it's good to have you here. There's a, I'm, I'm conflicted in my head because I don't know who I'm talking to now, if it's Paul or if it's Pragya. Right so, now it's Pragya. Right now it's Pragya, huh? Okay. So Pragya, when did, you, when, when did this all start? 2017. Mm. Tell us about it. How did it start? Did you just, uh, is it because of your love for the Indian culture or um, you felt like this was something that you could use to reach out to people? for Indian culture. Yeah. <laughs> really? Switch back to Paul's cut. Paul's cut right here. Okay. Now, my question back. here um, okay. is, uh, how invested are you in Indian content? Because for you to carry on with a character that's Indian and people actually falling in love with it, you must be very invested in the Indian culture, Bollywood, the movies, the songs, and all of that. Are yeah. you? Yeah, I love their movies, their mm. songs. Yeah, sure. But I don't like their series. You don't like the series? What's Sorry. the difference? Very dramatic and too slow. But that's, but that's what, what you, you do. <laughs> 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 that's, that's what you do. The repeated <laughs> this and that with, with an all, but that's you. Yeah, my, my skits are based on the series. Mm. Okay. Yeah. How have you, how has the response? Let's not, now everybody wants to say, oh, it's nice, but really, really let's talk about it. We'll talk about the negatives and the positives. Mm -hmm. How has the response been to your character and what you do on social media? Okay, when I started 2017, I got negative response. Mm. But I didn't, I didn't care. I kept on doing what I was in there. Somewhere like, uh, who is this one pretending to be under a dress mm. and acting like he's doing comedy? Exactly, because then, a number of people would not like that. Many people yeah, don't like yeah. that. And they feel, they, some people even tell that they feel disgusted yeah, by yeah. it. Yeah, there is somewhere like racism. You're making just of Bollywood. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, so, but I kept on doing it. How, why, like, why, why? Why did you keep on? How do you, how do you deal with all of that? Because Why this, do you this is something on? I love doing. And when I love something, I don't care what anybody says. Like, I'll continue doing that, even if the whole world doesn't like it. Mm. Oh, wow. So it sounds like it's a passion. It is a passion. But does it bring you money as well? Yeah, sure. It does. Money from who? Who are your target <laughs> clients now? Who, um, uh, who pay, which people pay you mostly to kind of like make content? Um, we do, like, let's say the world at large. Mm. Um, Nigerians, okay. Indians too. I get adverts. Mm. I get to promote some people too. Mm. You get to post some sponsored stuff to on okay. the page. Apparently, you're big in Bollywood, or rather in India. Mm. You have a very large Indian following, don't you? How oh, do yes, they yes. feel about you playing their Oh, they uh, love character. it. Mm. So, same thing I was saying, 2017, when I started, mm. they didn't like it to us. So they felt I was a racist. Oh, ah, wow. so it was yeah. them you were referring to that? Yeah, I was referring to the Indians. No, Nigerians loved it. Uh -huh. oh, Although some okay. Nigerians were still mm. yeah. skeptical about with time, everybody still loved it. When they saw that I was consistent. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so let's talk about the positive vibes. What were those, or what are those things that are the positive, because you've spoken about how people don't like it, or those that mm. maybe you say, but the positive ones, what are those words or the things that you got that might have maybe encouraged fueled you, you, encouraged you, that got you going? Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's see, in 1,000 comments, 900 were positive, mm. just 100 were negative. So I was mm. like, ah, if 900 likes it, then what? So I just continue. continue. Mm. Uh, Paul Prager, whichever we're talking to right now, I want to know exactly what that breathing is. About. Do they breathe like that? Because what I is don't... this? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they breathe like that. No, you're talking to Prager. This is not Paul again. <laughs> why, why, why? So I hear that you also have a Prager breathing challenge. Is that what it's called yes, out yes, now? Yes, what, yes. Is it, what, what is it about? What is it about? Everyone has to just breathe like Prager. And I'll select the best ones that beat that. Like, yeah. Okay. Well, and and what, what, are we, what are the day winning? Hmm? Okay, winning? Okay, let me see back to Paul, sorry. <laughs> 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 no, just switch, don't tell her, just switch. Okay, um, you have to beat like Pragya. Mm -hmm. And then I'm paying you 50,000 for 
Okay. I'm having oh, wow. two winners. Oh, nice. Wow. That's okay. nice. Interesting. You know, something, I find, I know, uh, something about uh, what you do is that there are no people, people are not in the middle about you. They either love you very much or oh, they, they do are, just they are like extreme. you. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, <laughs> very you also my, think my, so? Yeah, my fans are extreme. Like, they love me with passion. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then those that don't love you. How far are you going to take this? Because now yeah. you've been doing this for four years now. How much longer do you expect to take it? Are, is, are, we, uh, are we going to see some sort of evolution, evolution or something? Yes. Or is this how it's always going to be? No. Mm. Mm. There's going to be maybe a series someday. A series. <laughs> yes. Interesting. Maybe on TV. Mm. So maybe. you're looking to go into full-fledged uh, video content like for television Movie. series and yeah, all of yeah, that. TV series. And, and then we've seen with some collaborations. Um, that, that means that your art... Um, let's talk about collaborations. You know, okay. people that you've done stuff with. Uh, how was it? Did they come to meet you? Did you go to meet them? How was it that you mm. got to collaborate with some of the people mm. you've collaborated with? They came to meet me. Mm. Yeah. Tell us, tell yeah. us some of those experiences. I know, I know you've been with some, you know. Yeah, tell I've, us I've people you collaborated with. I've been with Ashmozi. Mm. I've been with uh, mm. Nons Mirage, um, Master Lee, mm -hmm. and some others. Mm. I'm sorry if I can't remember. Too. No, mm -hmm. nah. okay. they'll forgive you. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> they'll forgive you. But they you. came to meet you because they like what yes, you do and the content. And, 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 and all of that. Shooting more with some others too. Some other bigger comedians. Okay, so let me give you an idea here. How about we take this outside the shores of Nigeria? When are you going to go to India to actually experience the culture? Have you ever been there? Actually, I've been invited to India. You have been, been invited. invited. So when are you going to go? Because of this. But yeah, because uh, they were having the uh, Film Fair Awards. Okay. okay. They invited me, but for some reasons I couldn't go. Oh. When was that? Recently. Mm. Yeah, okay. Was, I think this October or oh, yeah, October or November. And you got an invite. invite. I got an invite. So, so are, are you are you looking to perhaps looking maybe to... take that advantage and go maybe sometime? Maybe soon? sometime. Are you planning to go there anytime, sometime soon? Okay, personally. Yeah, yeah yes. at least. Sure, I mean, sure. I'm yeah, thinking I mean, because it's such a it's a it's a thing that you've done for such a consistent period, and um, to experience the culture firsthand would actually, will also be a very interesting uh, new dynamic to whatever content you're putting in. So I'm wondering what would change maybe after you've seen the culture firsthand, experience it firsthand, seen the people. No, uh, maybe do some would there be some, some really do some, exactly do some skits how, how you, by how the Taj Mahal, for instance. You know, Take it global. Like Amita Bachan, Shah Rukh Khan. Okay. You know, you know. Okay. Hey, hey, hey start small, Shah. This one that you're calling them. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start small. <laughs> but anything but, is possible. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Because, but I, let me just. I, okay. Uh, go on, go on. Okay, because I never saw myself doing skits with with big. Okay. I never saw it coming. Because okay. I was just doing my thing because I loved it. All right. Mm. I it was going to attract people to Okay, to personally, it. let me just run up with this one. Let's talk about your Bollywood icons. Who are your biggest Bollywood icons? Who uh, the people maybe that you watched and inspired you and over from old and maybe even the new now? I'm very, very shy uh, to say this now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like Ashra Why? <laughs> Who's that? Ashra Oh, okay. She's one very, very beautiful. She's very beautiful. Okay. She's my crush somehow. <laughs> somehow. Okay, that would be a different kind of relationship. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, who else? Then, uh, I like Shah Rukh Khan. Okay. Shah Rukh Khan. Khan. Khan is very, very okay. Very, very okay. Very okay. okay. And uh, okay. Ravian Singh. Okay. Do you watch Bollywood? Uh, sure. uh, it sounds we like know a few. We maybe. know the main actor. I know the main actors. It sounds like I'm speaking I'm not very you guys don't know <laughs> Invested in it. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Okay, so. But tell okay. you what, let's do another clip from Prague, yeah? And when we get back, he'll be in the kitchen with and us. Uh, we'll be giving him. The ladies, very, we, yeah, we did yeah. the breathing yeah, challenge. Yeah, the ladies will be doing the breathing, the Prague breathing challenge. So, yeah, exactly. we're, 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 we're not doing it. Yeah. We don't want they to do it. They are doing it. Okay. <laughs> I know, and this morning she's made for you fish toast bread. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Alrighty. Fish I know it's, toast. it's nothing like the Indian food. Yes, yes, that yes. Hope there's too. much curry and pepper. Yes, ah, that's what it's very yeah. spicy. Yes, it's really oh, spicy. Please. Okay. So yeah. please, we would like you to have a taste and let us know what you think. Yeah. Okay. And then you can do the breathing. <laughs> oh, so you're Emma, trying to the food. Try, try. No, I can't. You can't. <laughs> you have to play. Oh, yeah. Play. Uh, okay. Home J jacket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Just have a taste. Okay. Just have a taste of this. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. 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 Like it. Okay. Love it. Mm. Yes, she yes. did. Okay. So, how does it taste? It tastes a little Indian and Nigerian. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, what do, will Pragya want to take it to India with her? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Well done, Thank Chef you, Chef Anu. Anu. Well done. All right. So, um, we would like to try the 50,000 Naira fries. Oh, you have to bleed. Yes. So how do we do it? Do show it. us how to do it. Yes, Can I stand? Yes, sure. Start. Okay. So you want to stand? Yeah, stand. You okay. have to. Okay. 
Why well, you have to stand three times? I'm sorry. Stand three times. Three times. I have to stand one. 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 I have to go. Okay. I have to go. <laughs> so we go. We will be back tomorrow morning. Yes. 7 a.m. In your face. It's Wake Up Nigeria. We still have Mazinga and Mike on the couch. Let me pick the winner already. Chef Anu, congratulations. (laughs) That is it. (laughs) Sorry, Mike. Sorry, Mike. Now we have to be in our way. Bye.